Okay, welcome everybody. In this video, we're gonna walk through how you can import trades and transactions from exchanges that CryptoTrader.tax does not yet support through the manual exchange. So to start, we're here in step two and you're gonna click on the help file to read about how this works. So CryptoTrader.tax offers two templates for importing your trades. Now they can each be helpful for various use cases. One is the simple format, one is the detailed format. Depending on how your exchange exports your trade history, you may wanna use one or the other. In this video, we're gonna walk through using the simple format, which is this help guide. So you can see that we're going to start by making a copy of the manual exchange trade import template here in Google Sheets. So we're gonna make a copy of this and you can see this is the format that you need to Im input your trades into so that you can import them into CryptoTrader.tax. Here there are just some auto-filled examples and so we can just go ahead and delete those um, for now. <clears throat> now, before you do this, you want to obviously download your trade history from the exchange that you're trying to import from. In this example, we're gonna use this export history file that OceanX gives its users. And so we'll map these trades over to this template so that we can import them right into CryptoTrader.tax. Now it's not terribly hard, it's literally just some Excel manipulation, but let's walk through how each work. So it can get a little bit confusing with the various cryptocurrency pairs. And so essentially what this is saying is it's saying BAT, and we walk through this again in this simple format help guide, um, but BAT is going to be the base currency and VET is the quote currency. So in this transaction, we're buying basic attention token BAT and we get filled at, we get 44.3 BATs, on, we buy that much. And to get that much, we sell 1500-ish VET. Okay, and how you can see how that works is it's simply the, the quote here of VET. So this is how many VET equal one BAT. Now I know this is already a little bit confusing, but again, VET is the quote currency. So 34.58 is quoted as one BAT, and then we can multiply that by the amount of BAT that we receive from the trade to get the total amount of VET that we traded to receive that BAT. Again, you can play that back. I know it gets a little bit confusing, but simply we're buying BAT and we're selling VET to get that BAT. And so the final thing is this fee. And this is where it can be more helpful to use the different um, template that CryptoTrader.tax uh, uses, the uh, detailed manual exchange template because you don't have to deal with this fee. So a lot of exchanges actually don't give fee information, um, but here we do. And we can see that the total of the price of one VET multiplied by the how many BAT we got equal this total amount. But we can see that the exchange charged us this 0 0.0443 BAT on the trade. So we actually do need to subtract that from the total amount of BAT that we got filled at to get the total amount that we truly received. So the calculation is simply, you know, 44.3 BAT subtracted from the fee that the exchange charged us. And it's formatted wrong. We want it formatted as a number. So we're simply going to subtract 44.3 BAT minus the 0. 0.0443 that the exchange charged us to arrive at the total amount of BAT that we received. Total BAT received. Right, so this is what we actually wound up with. So now that we walk through that, we can easily fill out the manual exchange template. So it's as easy as, right, Ocean X is the exchange. The asset we traded, again, remember it was VET. The amount we traded, we'll come back to that. The asset we received, again, was BAT. And now let's pull these out. So the amount of VET that we traded was 1531.894. That's traded. We simply put that in here, except without the formatting. Amount received. 
again, is not 44.3. This is what we revealed at, but the exchange charged us that 0 0.0443. So the total amount received was actually 44.2557 bat. Again, we would we 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 need to fix the formatting on this. Let's just put 44.2557. But you can see where that number is coming from. And then we're going to fill out the timestamp in UTC. Again, we can just grab that from here. Just confirm that the timestamp that you get is indeed in UTC time. And that's how it works. Fairly simple. We'll do one more example and we'll use this sell side transaction. So again, in this case, dbet is the base currency, vet is the quote currency. So this transaction's quoted in vet, but we're getting rid of dbet, okay? So stick with me. So we're selling 51.32 dbet at a price of 0.357 vet per dbet. So doing the math, we can get that that amount of dbet times the price of vet per dbet is 1832.124 is the total um, vet that we're receiving when we sell this dbet. Again, the fee is in vet, so we actually are only receiving this amount of vet subtracted from the fee that the exchange charges, eight, three, two, one, two, four, zero, zero, boom. To arrive at, this is how much um, VET that we actually receive from the exchange. Again, we're going to put that exactly into the simple format as we did. So the exchange again is Ocean X. The asset that we're trading this time is DBET. The amount traded is this 51.32. The asset received this time is VET. The amount received is not this number, because remember we have to add in the fee, it's this number, 18.30. I wonder if it'll let me paste it in. Let's see, there we go, 18.30. And then we'd also have to copy paste in the date. So that's how this, the simple format works. In the next video, we're going to walk through how you use this same file with the uh, detailed manual exchange format. And the only difference is working with the fees. So again, traditionally for this type of file, it would actually be easier for us to use the, ma the detailed manual exchange format, which we can easily uh, include that fee and we don't have to do any of the calculation ourselves. Um, we just include it and CryptoTrader.tax actually does the calculations behind the scene. So check out that next video, we'll link it um, down below.